It is a little bit harder to wear a fragrance in the winter because it doesn't transmit as well. Now there are some certain notes that help a fragrance to transmit in the cooler weather, like ambers and vanilla. And there's one that is really exceptional in transmitting in cooler air, and that's the note of oud. Now don't run away, don't run away. I know in the Western world it's a little bit more difficult, you're not as used to it. I promise you, I have some fragrances that even you can wear. Hello, I'm Peter from Centrel. Welcome. On this channel, we talk about fragrances, designer, niche, perfumers, so on and so forth. So if you want to smell nice or you're into fragrances, maybe you just want to keep current on what's going on, consider subscribing, love, like, share, all those wonderful things. You know what to do. I don't want to bug you too much about that stuff. I know how irritating it is when people always go, hey man, subscribe to my channel, it's awesome. I only want you to do that if you get anything out of this at all. I'm here for you. And now let's go right into our fragrances with the note of oud that even you can wear. Oud is one of the most expensive fragrance ingredients that you can have in a fragrance. Now, I think we all agree that we like expensive things, right? Now, oud is a bit of a weird one though. Uh, it is not quite as weird as like the note of civet, which is like a byproduct of the anal gland of the civet cat, which is not really a cat. Oud is also kind of a byproduct. We extract the essential oil from a agar tree, which has an infection. So it's an essential oil from an infected tree, the agar tree. I mean, that's a bit weird. But then again, it's no weirder than like ambergris, which is like the sperm whales, you know, expulsion of all the things that he's been eating over time, et cetera, et cetera. Now we could probably do an entire episode on how oud is created and distilled and all that sort of thing. If you would be interested in something like that, leave it in the comments and maybe we can do a video on, you know, exactly everything about oud, where it comes from, where it grows, those kind of things. Let me know. For right now, we know, or let's leave it at the fact that oud is a $6 billion industry per year, and that one pound of oud can cost in the neighborhood of $5,000 US. The note of oud can be pungent, it can be woody, it can be smoky, and it also can be warm. Often when it's blended with notes like floral notes or fruity notes, it can evoke a feeling of luxury and comfort. Now I've picked some off my shelf, that I, some oud fragrances that I really enjoy. I think we covered all the areas that we just talked about, a little bit of smokiness, you know, some depth, comfort, so on and so forth. So let's get started with our first one. The first one that I picked is an Aqua de Parma fragrance. Now this one is created by Francois de Marchi. Unlike most oud fragrances, Colonia Oud from 2012, you can wear this one in the summer. There is some orange and bergamot in the opening when you first spray this one. Keeps this fragrance quite fresh. There's also some sandalwood, and then there's a fragrance note in there called Amiris, which is kind of a piney citrus uh, note. And, and also there is some sandalwood, and of course you have oud. This one has the DNA in the background of, of course, Aqua de Parma. If that's something that you're really into, then I think you would really enjoy Colonia Oud. For a lot of people, the uh, Aqua de Parma is a little bit too specialized. It's not mainstream enough, perhaps. So my next fragrance is going to be a more mainstream fragrance that I am pretty sure you are going to love. And it is Versace Oud Noir from 2013. First time I smelled this fragrance, I completely fell in love with it. It is such a good one. In this fragrance, you'll have some neroli, some olibanum, you'll have some cardamom, saffron, and a touch of pepper. Of course, there's oud in the base, so as this fragrance dries down, the oud will kind of come to the forefront a little bit more. Now, if it wasn't for the longevity of this fragrance, which is not that good, same thing with the projection, it's just not that good, this one would be a perfect 10 for me. But it doesn't protect as well, and it doesn't last long enough. So but it is a wonderful fragrance. If you wanna get into like the oud world, this is a great one to start with and it is perfectly safe. Everyone will love it and it's mainstream. So is my next one. My next one is a fragrance that I picked up because I had the original one or the first ones and it's the Hugo Boss bottle and it's the oud. This one came out in 2015 and you have notes of cinnamon and some warm laptinum in this one. The oud in this one, 
takes boss bottled oud into a beautiful sort of depth that is kind of earthy and warm and kind of held there by a fragrance note called Nagamatha. I think boss bottled oud is a must have for anyone who likes the original boss bottle and wants to deepen it even further than the intense. It's a great little fragrance from the line. Really enjoy this one. Boss bottled oud. The next one, it's kind of like an oud, but it's not really an oud. Now, a lot of people think that there is oud in this fragrance. It's even in the name. But I figured I'd throw this one in there because it's a really unique scent. And you can have this one for a, an amazing price. And it smells phenomenal. And it is Ferragamo Oud. Now, this one doesn't have actual Oud in it. It has something else in it that lots of people think is Oud. It's actually called Ferragamo Oud. This fragrance is more for somebody who doesn't really like Oud for whatever reason, but still would like to have a scent profile that is like Oud, you know, who knows for what reason? You know, it could be your nose, it could be your wallet, <laughs> whatever. Okay, but this one is a really good choice because it is a niche quality at a designer price. Even less if you buy it online. Ferragamo Oud substitutes agar wood with kayak wood. And lots of people get that mixed up. So agar wood is the actual tree, the agar tree. And remember we were saying earlier, if there's an infection in the tree, they kind of distill that whole sort of stuff, whatever process, and then that's what we get our oud from. Now this is gayak wood. It is a complete different thing, but there is a unique quality about gayak wood because it lends us a lot of smoke. And this fragrance has a ton of it in there. Now it has a similar profile as oud, but hey, similar, it's not the same. It's just similar because gayak wood is dark, it is smoky, and it is a little bit tar-like, oud in many cases. Similar, but not the same. It has rum, tobacco, leather, and the note of tuberose. It's a beautifully blended scent, and I can't believe that you can actually get this one for a really good price, and it's niche quality. The gayak wood in this one is at the base, but it kind of transmits itself through the fragrance from the very beginning when you spray it. If you want a dark and smoky fragrance that has the feeling of oud but isn't really oud, this is niche quality at a bargain price. This is it, my friends. My next one is a fragrance by a perfumer called Pierre Montal. The unique thing about this next fragrance is that the oud is listed in the top, and once you smell it, it's right off the top, because the base of this fragrance has a beautiful, soft vanilla from Madagascar. And it is Oud Vanille from Mancera. This one, oh my God, it smells so good. This is a wonderful winter scent. This thing will last all day and it protects great. It'll keep you warm. Oud Vanille, when you first spray it, is really strong. You gotta kind of give it a second. Because the agar wood is right at the top. You gotta let the cardamom and the saffron kind of settle in just a little bit. And the wonderful thing about Oud Vanille is it's 100% unisex. Anybody can wear this, any age. I think it's a wonderful scent for the winter. When you spray it, don't walk right into it. You know, give it a little time. Don't put your nose right on it. You know, let the cardamom and the saffron kind of come out a little bit. Let the first spray of the Oud kind of settle in. And once that warm and lovely Madagascar vanilla comes out, you will fall in love with Oud Vanille from Mancera. It's a really, really awesome one. And then my last one is gonna be a heavy hitter. Now we spoke about it or we mentioned it a little bit earlier, but this one is something that you might need to wear or you might need to go through these first or warm yourself up. But it is a amazing scent that will have you smelling great. And my final choice for oud that even you can wear is a superstar amongst ouds, in my opinion. It is Tom Ford and it is Oud Wood. Oud Wood kind of leans a little bit on the masculine side. But I have a friend, she's gorgeous, and she this is her signature scent. And let me tell you, she rocks it. Every time she walks by, I'm like, oh my God, this smells so good on you. So don't be fooled that it at first smells a little bit masculine. It develops beautiful, my friend. Like I said, it's her signature scent, Oud Wood. 
Oud Wood's triple wood combination of rose, sandal and agar wood is a true treat for your nose. Now of course the cardamom and the amber and the vanilla in this fragrance help. But this is something you need to get your nose on and maybe give it a little spray and wear it and see if you love it. It's an amazing oud fragrance that'll always be in my collection. No matter how you twist it or turn it, if you take the Aqua de Parma or you take the Versace or you take the Hugo Boss or the Salvatore Ferragamo or the Mancera Oud Vanille or the ever amazing Oud Wood from Tom Ford, one thing is for sure, you're going to smell amazing, opulent and extravagant. And that's how we shall live. Cheers. <laughs>